Welcome back, everybody. This is primary coding challenge number two. I'm Mr. Janky, and today we are going to learn a few different things in Scratch Junior. First, we are going to learn how to create sprites. Then we're going to add them to our stage. And then third, we're going to learn how to animate or to make them actually do things. So here we are with our stage. First of all, we've got Scratchy here on our stage. And for what we're doing today, we want Scratchy to actually disappear. We're going to delete Scratchy. So to make Scratchy delete, I can put my finger on top of Scratchy and hold down and see this red X comes up right there. What I do is I press the red X and Scratchy will disappear. We'll use Scratchy in a lot of our challenges. We just won't be using Scratchy today. So now to make a brand new sprite, I need to click up where this plus symbol is right here. And it has a list of a whole bunch of sprites, or lots of pictures, which we've actually looked at already. But today I want to make my own. So I'm going to click on the paintbrush, which is up right here near the top. So I'm going to click on that. And notice there is actually a dragon here, but I don't want that dragon to be there. So I'm going to make that dragon disappear. I'm going to use my scissors and I cut him out. I don't know why dragon was there, but he's gone now, so that's just fine. So now what I would like to do is I want to create sprites, but what I want to do is I want to create letters for my sprites. So first of all, here on the left hand side, I'm going to choose the very top symbol, which I just covered, that one right there. That's going to allow me to draw on my page. And then down here, there are five lines, and that's the thickness of the lines. I want the letters to be fairly thick because actually my sprites are going to be letters. Today, we're going to make sprites to spell out the word cat. So I've now selected, basically this is like a pen. This is how thick I'd like the letter to be. And the first letter in cat is a C. So I'm going to choose red at the bottom, and I'm going to use my finger, and I'm going to make a C. So there's my letter C. I'm now going to go up to the very, very top up here. I'm going to click and just make a C because I know that is the letter C. I just gave it a name, okay? To say that sprite, I'm going to click on the check mark up on the top right. So there's my C. That's great, but I want to spell the word cat, which means I need more letters. I need more sprites. So I'm going to click on my plus again over here. And going back up to the top, I'm going to click on the paintbrush. Notice it kept my settings from last time, so I don't have to select the pen. And I don't have to select the, the line. Now I just made a mistake. I dragged my finger across. No big deal. Just take the scissors. I can cut it away. So getting back to this, I'm going to select my pen again. This time I want the A to be, I'm going to make it green. So I chose green. I made my... A, and then I want to name it up at the top, A, and I, then I click on the check mark. I have my A. Oh, now they're on top of each other. Well, we know how to move sprites. I just put my finger on top of the sprite, and I can move them and put them anywhere that I want. So I'm going to choose my C. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to drag my A over. So if I'm going to spell cat, my next letter needs to be a T. So I'm going to come back over, press the plus again. Press the paintbrush again. I'm going to make my T blue. So I've chosen blue at the bottom. I now drew a T with my fingers up to the top for the character. I want to give it the name T because it's the letter T. And then I press the check mark and I now have the word cat. But I've also decided I want an exclamation mark in there. So I'm going to add one more sprite. Plus, paintbrush. And I'm going to make my exclamation mark, I'm going to make it pink. So it comes down and then I want a circle at the bottom. Okay, so there's my exclamation mark up at the top here. I'm going to name it X, oh, that was comma. There, no, let's try one more time. There's exclamation mark. And now I've got it saved. Now I've got cat exclamation mark fantastic these are actual sprites i've created the c the a the t the exclamation mark they're all sprites now i want to code them because i want them to actually do something so i'm going to take my c and right now if i look down at the bottom you'll notice i am not on the letter c 
if I go to code right now, it will actually impact the exclamation mark, but I want it to impact the C. I want to code for the letter C. So I go up to the C, I press the button. Now remember at the bottom, it's changed to a C. Fantastic. So to start off, I want all my sprites to start when I press the green flag. So to do that, I had to press on the yellow puzzle piece. And now I've clicked on my green flag. There it is. So now whatever the C does, it's going to begin when I press the green flag up at the top. So here we go. I want my C to move. I want it to move, so I pressed a blue box. I'm gonna bring this down, and I'm going to have my C move to the right, or move forward, let's say 10 spaces. I'm then going to have it go up, so I've dragged down and up. I want it to go up five. Then I want it to come back 10. And then I want it to come down five. So if it goes over 10, up five, comes back 10 and down five, it should be back in the same place. So I'm going to click my finger on the green flag up the top. Oh, my C turns backwards, look at that. Wow. But I want it to continue doing this. I don't want it to stop. So to do that, I'm going to click on my red icon, and this with the arrows means repeat forever. So if I do that, it should just keep doing it. But that's too slow. I need the C to go faster than that. So now while it's still going, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to bring down my speed guy. I want him to go faster. So I'm going to put it at medium speed and put it right in the middle. Let's see if he speeds up now. That's better. A little bit faster anyway. Okay, now I'm going to stop them. So that's what the C is going to do. The A, I want the A to get smaller and larger, smaller and larger. So to begin with the A, I'm going to click on yellow. Then I want to bring down my green flag because that's what's going to start it. Now to resize an object, I click on purple. And if you notice right here, but I think we did this before, larger, smaller, larger, smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to make the A get about 20 times larger. I don't know how big, that might be too big. And then 20 times smaller, which means I want them to get big and then come back to regular size. Big, come back to regular size. So let's see what happens to the A. Perfect. And I want that to continue. I don't want it to stop, so I put on continue forever, right? Now the T. The T, I'm going to start again by choosing start on the green flag. Now the T, I want it to spin, and I want it to spin fast. So I'm going to bring down my little man and make him fast, and I want it to spin. So if I click on the blue blocks and over here, see how they have the turning function? I'm gonna bring turning, and I can leave it at one. I'm just gonna make it 10, it doesn't really matter. Because in this case, I'm gonna make it rotate forever super fast. So let's watch the T. And it's just going to keep on going. Now I'm going to stop it and reset. So we know the C is moving. It's doing basically a rectangle. The A is getting bigger and smaller. The T is spinning in circles. Now the exclamation mark, I want it to appear and disappear. Appear and disappear. So bring down my green flag. To make things appear and disappear, I need to click on my purple puzzle piece. And here is disappear, appear. So I'm going to put disappear, appear, and go back to the red and continue it forever. Let's look at all the code really quickly before we run it. If I click on the C, it's going to go medium speed, over 10, up five, back 10, down five, and repeat forever. We go to the A, bigger by 20, smaller by 20, forever. T, moves super fast. We're going to spin forever. And then the exclamation mark, disappear, reappear forever. So now when I run this, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to press the green flag up at the top. There goes my C, my A is getting bigger and smaller, my T is spinning, and my exclamation mark is disappearing and appearing. So then I'm going to stop it. 
I pressed on the red stop sign. I'm then going to click on the white arrow with the X up at the top that's in blue, and it resets everything. And maybe as a last little touch, I want to add a background. I want this to happen somewhere where it's cold, like it's about to be here, freezing cold. So here we go. I'm going to start it, and now I have cat. It's animated. We made these sprites on our own. We changed the color that we wanted them to be, and now they're acting all crazy. So I hope you enjoyed this challenge. What I'd like you to try to do is maybe try to do this with your own name, or if your teacher has words from the word wall, or any anything you're learning in science or social studies, if you have any curriculum, any any words that you could code, I want you to try that out. I'm gonna stop that now because I think I'm starting to get dizzy. Thank you very much and have a great time with primary coding challenge number two. See you next time.